G'day guys, Skulls here. Uh, today, I've been asked by a lot of people to do a what's in my kit bag. So I'm gonna go through my kit and uh, give you guys a little insight into all of my gear and what I use. So I've got this Grove Cricket Bag. It's last year's model. I probably need to get a new one, but it's doing its job at the moment. So in this top pocket, <coughs> I keep my gloves and I've got these couple of Flexi stumps for training, which we're actually going to use today while we shoot some videos for our online academy. So I got them, uh, they just live in the top part. And then I've got three pairs of Grove gloves. Uh, these are my gloves from last season, a bit worn. And then I've got new, two new pairs that are still very fresh. Um, I've only just started wearing uh, this season and we're only a couple of, week, couple of games into the season so far. So three pairs of gloves. Uh, we go down to the main compartment okay i try and be as neat as i can i try and have it all in um, a system so that i know where everything is i know that if something's missing based on where it should be so i've got a divider here um, and in the this small part my helmet my new or well, it's not new but i've got this perth cricket club helmet obviously i've just changed cricket club so this is a new helmet for me it's a bit old i, I do need to get a new one but helmet i've got a chest guard which i had custom made for me when i was over in the uk um, i wear it whenever i train um, obviously you get some dodgy training wickets so i always want to be protected uh, i don't really wear it when i play just for training my box um, then i've got my spikes bag asics and a really old bag the zip's broken but that my spikes live in here so they live in there I've got the uh, these asics spikes uh, which I got off a mate, um, who are, they're actually Steve Smith spikes, so they're quite cool. Um, <clears throat> got my black pads, black grove pads, quality. We're playing one day cricket at the moment, so we use colours. We use a white ball and colours, so I got my black grove pads. I got my grove thigh pad, uh, which is very, very comfortable, works a treat. And then I've got my probably dirty and smelly Middlesex pants, which I wear whenever I bat. I put them on over my um, shorts, put my box and my thigh pad inside them, and then I put my pads over the top, so it's like a game. I don't have the pad rash, the strap rash on my legs, so I wear them. I've got a custom-made arm guard here, which I never really wear, haven't really ever worn it, but I've got it just in case. I um, don't even really know how it works, but yeah, that's my arm guard. So that's all of it in the main compartment. Then I've got my front compartments. In here I've got a few older balls, a um, few bits of string to hang things up when I do videos. I've got a couple of new balls. Wouldn't mind bowling with that bad boy. No wonder seamers get so many wickets. Another new ball. I've got a bowling marker. <coughs> Into the middle compartment, got my sunnies. I wear Oakleys. Um, I'll try and wear them whenever I field. They're really good. They're one of my, my sort of favourite items. Making sure I, when the sun's out, I got them on. Now this is one of my most uh, precious items, my headband at the moment. If my hair gets in my eyes, I can't play as well. So this goes with me. I wear it when I bat, have it in my pocket when I'm fielding. And when I come into bowl, I put it on just to keep the hair out of my eyes. I probably just need to get a haircut. That might solve that problem. Um, <clears throat> a few cricket mentoring business cards. And then this pocket's just full of a lot of junk. Uh, I've got some mosquito repellent that leaked the other day. I've got some old spikes um, living in this skins bag. A lot of old spikes that I probably don't need. Got some tubey grip for my uh, elbows if I need it. Permanent texture. Some catching mitts. These are great little devices to stop your hands getting sore. So catching mitts, I train in them sometimes when we're doing a lot of catching. Some sandpaper for my bats, don't really use it. Skipping rope. Uh, I used to, I haven't done it for a while, but I used to warm up with a skipping rope. Always good to carry a skipping rope just to get yourself moving. <coughs> a, sh a spike key. Some uh, old melted electrical tape. Probably need to throw that away. Uh, another bowling marker, some bat tape, like I said there's a lot of shit in this part, and then finally a bouncy ball. This is good, I used to 
I used to bounce the ball and just sort of get your hand eye working. And then, last but not least, my bats. Now the bats live at the bottom here. <clears throat> I've got three in here at the moment. This one, the cracking grove stick. Uh, picks up nicely. So there's bat one. Bat two I got the other day <clears throat> from the Muleman's. It's one of Adam Voges' old sticks. It's an absolute weapon. Picks up really, really nicely. Light, big. It's got a few surface cracks, but uh, it's an absolute weapon and I'll have to start using this soon, I think. And finally, <clears throat> my number one. This is an absolute belter. I've had it for a while. Picks up nicely, got a new grip on it last week, so it feels new, love the new, having a new grip. So I carry three bats with me usually, got a couple more at home, a couple getting fixed. Um, but that's it, that's pretty much what is in my kit bag. A lot of shit there, a lot of stuff I probably don't need, but I have just in case. All the main stuff, all Grove gear. My sunnies are really important to me. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into what's in my kit bag.